welcome to SBC, SB Cinema. And today I want to show you something really useful. We all know this. You have a good CD, like this one here. Classic music. But it's all broken and damaged. Even this little packs are broken out. Yeah, they get brittle. And the outside is brittle from the beginning. So, today a tutorial on how to fix this. Let's take the tool. If you have, don't have long fingernails, you can use one of those smartphone opening tools or a flat screwdriver or something like this to just go in here. There are little tabs here and here and here and here. Here and here. And you just open them. Once you have one open, you can actually just pull them out like this. Remove the text. That's trash. You can also, that's a little trick, this seam here, you just pull here and it goes open very easily. This used to be a double CD box, but one is missing and will never be reappearing. So, what you're doing is returning this into the new front, and for this, we just fold those over. We could rip them off, but folding them over should be okay. Makes it fit a bit better to leave them on. But we have seen there's a little problem. So there we need a cutting device later. So, like I said, go in here and you can just take this out. And now we go in here and open this. Oh, this Sony one is a bit harder to get open. A bit of assistance and now it's open. Quite a flimsy one. Quality has gone down so much. Let's put our new old in here. Close this up again. And we're up to a new beginning for this beautiful classical music. Let's put the CD in, just like this. And it's new home. And now let's see what we have to cut here. For this, I uh, just guess we take a yeah, bit behind the line here. And now for the part of adjusting this to fit this, which you don't need if you have a cover for it. But even if you want to use a piece of a picture or something to make a custom one, this works very well quite nicely. So what we do is we line this up here so it fits where it should fit. Hold it down and simply paint along this line here. This is a bit of a diluted adding pen I have. Just added alcohol to it. That's just for marking, but it isn't so true. And if we take this away now, we got a perfect line on which we can cut in a bit of a more close up. So, now let's take this paper cutting device. You can, of course, use scissors, but I want to go fancy here. Line this up so the cut direction seems to fit somehow. And just run it along. Wow, that's a cut, right? And 
you see we have cut a bit too much here which is absolutely not a problem because now we do cut a bit less on the other side just like this and if you want to have it perfectly straight you just line it up here on the edge and drag it along till it fits and then you let it snap down and the good thing to do is to hold this down whilst cutting it so it does fit you see this didn't rip off completely now I have used this a lot it's not that sharp anymore but that's not a problem, we just bend it a bit and we could of course have the last part of it with the scissors here you see, here he is As you see, it fits quite nice in here. And one thing I like to do is, I like to fix it with a bit of scotch tape, which we in Germany call Tesafilm, because that's the company who made it. So, let's see, it's all straight. And now just on tiny bit here. I do this with all my CDs, so this paper sleeve doesn't always slide out. I hate it when it slides out. Now let's reassemble this. Uh, you see, I did cut it a bit too loose, but it's in there. It looks good. And if you want, you could actually put this side piece in here but now we have a closed and good looking cover again uh, he would be proud and yeah that's music I like to listen to when I work and now just for the fun of it I'm actually doing it I take this thing it's actually already perforated so we can just fold it once or twice and when it's folded enough we can actually go ahead and rip it if we don't like this jagged edge it's ripping the leaves behind we could just be fancy and cut it with scissors Then we take the one we like the most and I think this looks better here you see, it doesn't have these white spots here and then we put it in here you see it doesn't fit perfectly which doesn't bother us anymore let's make this a bit more straight here so it doesn't wobble take a tiny bit of tape Just playing around now, you know. Don't let the video be shorter than an hour or algorithm hates you. 
and all your hard work will never be watched by anyone. Because Google is only interested in two things. Your money and your data. And so, let me now put it together again. We got this in here. Put this D in that I have to clean. Put the cover on, and now doesn't this look far, far, far better than with the white sticking out here, right? Fancy, huh? Most uh, CDs actually have here a black piece, but this one didn't. This one here uh, did have one. And I could have reused this one in most of them. Some of the ones are a bit different, but um, yeah, this one was already broken. I hope I don't step in one of those. And even the second one was broken. No, uh, looks like something fancy Star Wars with the star symbol. Yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And there will be a separate special video for PlayStation 1 shells. Bye. Till next time on SBC, SB Cinema.